Welcome back once again. I'm Sean, aka Piper Burner, back with another one. This time from Lucky Hair Brewing out of Watkins Glen, New York. And this is a London Gentleman Extra Special Bitter. Um, it's a style that you don't really see that often anymore. Um, and it's it, it's a style I can remember seeing quite a bit of, and then it kind of fell off, and it's. It's definitely a more classic style. Um, been around a long time, but it doesn't get the, the love that it probably should because people hear better in the name and they just, I don't know, it's just something about that just turns everybody off. So, extra special bitters, ESBs, um, as they're known, uh, English style bitters. There's different, different things to the ESB, so. But this is their take on it. Coming in at, on the can, anyways, it says 5%, and untapped it says 5.5. Uh, I've used an untapped or 39, and then on un their website, which I went and looked at, it's 37.9. So, untapped just isn't that trustworthy anymore. So, if you're using untapped to keep track of your beers, just be aware. Of, you know, because it it, it it can be off any, which kind of messes with their whole rating system too. But anyway, uh, it has a little thing about who they are, where they were born at, uh, born in a basement, homebrew kit, turkey fryer, a few carboys, countless batches, made the great beer you have your hand today, passionate beer drinking family. Local source ingredients, unique beers, fresh and cold. Sharing is never a requirement though. So you don't have to share this stuff. You can give it to yourself. <clears throat> Let's get into her. I did pick up a four pack of this. Um, it was between this and another beer from a, a more local brewery, but the fact that I never see betters anymore made me want to get this one, so that's why I went with it. Um, as you can see, though, super clear, deep, dark, golden. You can see through it to a bit. It's like a dark, dark, thick honey kind of a look. About a finger and a half of thick, foamy, white head. Maybe just a little off-white, but it looks like a good beer. I mean, it, 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 it I don't know if you could see it, but the, look at those carbonation bubbles. Good carbonation, beautiful, bright, amber, golden body, beautiful head on it. I don't want to put it on the table because it'll shake the camera, but... I'm not going to get a decent swirl, but it is what it is. Rich golden malts is what I'm getting. Like, when I say golden, it's like more, not as roasted, more, more fresh, more sweet. Yeah, I'm not getting like a whole lot of bitterness off the nose, and I don't know if it's because of the thick, thickish head that's going on there. Yeah, I'm just getting that sweet golden malt, like not as roasted, pretty fresh. And I'm not getting much out. I'm getting like a little bit of crispness off of it, but let's take a, a swig. Mm, good bit of finish. Good, rich, kind of like a spicy body going on with it. It's like a flashbang. I think that's what I enjoy about these. It's kind of like, it's like a flashbang. Like you take that drink and right off the bat, you just get hit with bitter and it just explodes down your tongue. I know it kind of sounds weird, <clears throat> but I think that's what I like about it. It's just like a, like a, like a, a bitter bomb. I 
and I, I've, I've liked this style for a while, but you don't really get it. And like, uh, I believe it was Red Hook, or like the first one, I'm pretty sure that it's them that I'm thinking of, it was our first one, and I just found my, especially like in the winter time, I don't know what it is about that bitterness. Maybe it's because that was the first time I had it, but like, in the winter time, a good English better, even though they're more low level with the ABVs, just. And this is one of those, it's just a good, like, bitter bomb. It's just, you take that sip, and right off the bat, you just get that rich, bitter sweetness. Crisp kind of a yeast, and it just coats your mouth. I don't know, I, it sounds weird, but I, I love a good bitter, and that's what this is. It's a, it's a, a fantastic bitter. I think on a cask system, this would be so much better. Um, yeah, I think I think this is like an English style pub, or the proper system, and you could get a pull of this. I think this would be like that feeling really balances out. I think the carbonation is doing it a due diligence, but that could just be me uh, sounding kind of snobbyish. So. I'm gonna give this a 3.75. I think I think it's good. I, I feel like you know where it's going is good. It's really hitting the spot. So Lucky Hair Brewing, Watkins Glen, New York, which I feel like they're farther up on 414. Is that 14? I feel like they're farther up on the east side of the lake than Watkins Glen. I feel like they're closer to like Hector, but Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Um, is it Hector or is it Victor? I want to say it's Hector. But, right, either way, Two Goats Brewing, Watkins Glen, New York, Extra Special Bitter. Lucky gentlemen. Uh, I'm really enjoying this one. It's it's giving me what I want from the ESB, and these guys are good. Uh, I was just. Recently listened to them on the Stale This Beer podcast. So if you don't listen to that, give it a listen. It's it is it's fun banter between Augie Carton and John Hole and all them. But yeah, I'm gonna go three point seven five. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>